everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to be building some raised bed planter boxes that i'm going to use to plant herbs and vegetables in i started this project by getting some ideas for planter boxes off of pinterest and once i settled on a design that i liked i started drawing it up in SketchUp to fit my needs i also took measurements of the yard in the area that i want to place the planter boxes in i drew them up in SketchUp as well and then placed the boxes in that area and i moved stuff around and fooled around with the numbers a bit until i settled on the size of box that I wanted and the optimal spacing that I was looking for. Once I was happy with the planter box dimensions, I went and bought the wood from the store and started cutting. The box design is really simple. It's going to be a square that is 39 by 39 inches and each box will be built out of 2x6s and 2x3s. I decided on building five boxes total because that would fit really well in the area that I have available. And so since I had to do a lot of repetitive cuts, I set up a board stop and then just started knocking off the cuts one after another. It took about an hour to cut all the boards down. I took my pieces outside and sanded them off real quick. And then I came back in, laid down some plastic on the garage floor, and then I started painting. This dark blue paint that I'm using is an exterior paint. It was actually left here when we bought the house. It's the same paint that is used on the front porch and the window shutters. And I've got about two gallons left of a five gallon bucket. So I'm just trying to use up as much of it as I can so I can try to get that bucket out of my garage and free up some space. Now I decided not to prime the uh, wood to begin with and that was just to save money and time so I didn't have to waste primer essentially. And ultimately these boxes are gonna sit outside and they're gonna be exposed to the elements so maybe the exterior paint won't last as long because the wood wasn't primed but at the end of the day it's gonna wear away eventually and it's gonna get covered in dirt because I mean they're planter boxes I'm gonna fill them with dirt now at this point in the process I have enough boards painted that I can start the assembly process for a couple boxes now I haven't painted all of my boards yet I simply don't have enough space in the garage to lay them all out and paint them all at once so I'm gonna assemble a box or two I can get them out of the garage and free up space for more boards for painting and then once they dry I can assemble the rest of the boxes I'm starting the assembly process with the two by threes by attaching them to each other so the boxes are basically just four levels of wood that are stacked on top of each other to create the overall planter box. So the first level is the 2x3s. So the first two levels of the planter box will make a square when assembled. They will use two 36 inch long boards and two 39 inch long boards to make an overall square of 39 by 39 Now level 1 is made using the 2x3s and level 2 is made using 2x6s. Levels 3 and 4 are both going to make a rectangle that will sit on the level previous to it. So level 3 is made out of 2x6s two that are 36 inches long and two that are 24 inches long and then level four is made of two by sixes as well two at 36 inches long and two at nine inches long with each level assembled i need to attach them to each other and to do this i use some one and a half by one and a half inch long wooden stakes that i had laying around and had no other use for i cut these stakes down into five and a half inch long pieces and then i started by assembling and attaching levels one and two to each other to attach levels one and two together I ended up using a stake at each of the inside corners I attempted to get away with using only two stakes by using them on opposite corners but that didn't work out very well but for levels three and four I was able to get away with just two on each of those levels by using the opposite corners with the boxes now assembled I need to do some ground preparation in the area where I want to place the planter boxes this area is at the end of my driveway just past my garage. I'm going to be placing these planter boxes in the area between the concrete curb and the wooden boards. This section is 5 feet wide and about 28 feet long, so there's more than enough space here for the planter boxes. But the big issue I have, which is a little difficult to see here on camera, is this ground is not flat. It's very flat in the corner over where the car is, but as we move closer to the house, it starts to slope away from the concrete curb and slope down towards the wooden board, and that gets progressively worse the closer we get to the house. The area closest to the car is relatively flat for about 10 feet coming off of that corner and heading back towards the house. So this area is pretty easy to level out. I just need to kind of rake around the wood chips that cover the ground and move a little bit of dirt here and there. But as I get closer to the house, the slope away from the concrete heading towards the wood boards becomes a lot more and I'm not gonna be able to move enough dirt and flatten that area out because if I just pile up more dirt towards the back area of the board, that dirt's gonna end up falling away if there's nothing going to be retaining it so I'm going to have to come up with a different solution there.
with the ground as flat as I could get it, I was ready to start placing my boxes. I wanted to have 24 inches of space between each of the boxes so I had enough room to be able to walk between them and tend for the plants. Conveniently, after cutting all of the 2x6s down, I had some scrap 2x6s left over that were 24 inches long, so these worked out as perfect spacers. I also wanted the boxes to be about 10 inches away from the concrete curb, so to do this, I laid four 2x3s side by side, and since the 2x3 is really a 1.5 by 2.5, this worked perfectly here as well. After ensuring I had proper spacing for each of the boxes, I went and made sure that they were level. While the first two boxes were very level and didn't require any more work, the last three boxes were being affected by the slope of the ground. I ended up using some bricks, setting them under the back ends of each of the boxes to be able to raise them up high enough to get the boxes level with the front end. I started by using cardboard as ground cover to ensure that no weeds could grow up inside the box. Next, I would fill the box about 50% of the way with logs and tree branches. I had lots of this on hand because earlier in the year we had a tree cut down and I had them leave all the wood so I could use it for this purpose. Once I felt a box had enough logs in it, I then covered them up using wood chips. I spent the last few months sending all of the smaller branches from the tree through my wood chipper to be able to create enough wood chips to be able to complete this project. Once the box was about 80 to 90% full, I then finished off the final amount using topsoil. I will have to do this a couple of times over the next few weeks because as the soil settles, I'll have to add more to make sure the box stays full. Once the boxes were topped off with the topsoil, I started to plant my herbs and vegetables that I had on hand. I don't have enough to fill all the boxes right now, so I just filled up the first two boxes and I'm just going to work my way from there. If you guys like this video, click the thumbs up button, drop a comment down below, and we'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt.